That's right, Linda. And the governor was at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office, but members from Tampa Police and the Florida Highway Patrol were also in attendance. Now, local law enforcement and first responders have answered the call both here at home and away from it. And that's exactly why Governor Scott stopped by, took a moment, and thanked all those who helped in the wake of Hurricane Irma. How are you doing, sir? Governor Rick Scott personally thanked local law enforcement. Yeah. Everybody that's shown up to take care of us. First responders. So they do it each and every day. And emergency management officials for their dedication before, during, and after Hurricane Irma. They do it when others are, are, are walking away because they're in danger. Um, the, we also have to thank, thank our military for showing up. I can tell you, through this hurricane, our law enforcement showed up all across the state, and they're still showing up. And that includes the Tampa Strong Platoon, who returned after a week in Collier County, where Irma made landfall. At times like this, even though we were from Tampa, I think we, uh, we found that the community and law enforcement really worked good together. And for, for the first time in seven days, I really didn't see any political stuff. I didn't see anything. I just I saw people helping people. It was cool. Tampa police well, officers, know, along with members of Tampa International Airport and USF Police, assisted with traffic control and responded to calls for service. All we had to do was figure out our mission was to make sure to prevent the loss of property, the loss of life, making sure that, you know, the people out there were taken care of. Governor Scott also thanked the more than 30,000 line men and women who traveled from as far as Canada to help restore power to almost 7 million Floridians. 2% of customers remain in the dark. I know everybody wants their power back. I'm talking to the utility companies. I'm saying, well, you know, we all want our power back. What, what's, what can we help you do? And as Florida recovers from Hurricane Irma, Governor Scott is keeping an eye on Hurricane Maria, just in case. I mean, hopefully this won't happen again. Uh, but, the, you know, this seems to be a very active, active hurricane season. But I want to thank uh, everybody in law enforcement for what they did. The Highway Patrol, our Sheriff's Department, Police Department kept our, our, our highways open. They just did a great job. And speaking of Hurricane Maria, although it is forecasted to stay east of the state, Governor Scott is asking Floridians to remain vigilant and prepared with three days worth of food and water, medicines, and a plan. Of course, hurricane season does not end until November 30th. We're live in Tampa tonight. Marissa Lynn, Fox 13 News.